it's Tuesday, 6th of October. I'm in my bay room and it's uh, about half past nine now. I got up with Phil and uh, I've just been, uh, what have I been doing? Uh, checking on Messenger, uh, watching a couple of YouTube things. Oh, I've been on Epidemic. Epidemic Sound, checking out um, some of the uh, music that's on there. Uh, and actually, it's quite nice just to have it on the background sometimes. So that's what I did. Uh, I'm just making a cup of tea. Uh, you can see behind me, the stuff still on the table that was uh, in yesterday's vlog. Um, I think I might upload them for about tea time-ish. Uh, you know, when people have finished work, I'm quite conscious that we sometimes do too much uh, watching YouTube and not enough work, don't we? Well, I do. I can't tar everybody with the same brush. Um, so... I'm going to do another day's snippet, so just take my cup of tea and then I'll show you what I'm up to on the screen. Green now. Uh, where did I leave off last night? I left off with uploading that video. So that's in iMovie. And I want to start doing uh, a new vlog for today. Uh, so I'll have a new Nothing to import as yet, but that's there ready for me to import um, when I get it from here. So I'm on my phone and I'm going to find the snippet that I've just said hello. Uh, import. Um, where you failed? Where have you failed then? Let's try again. Select. Uh, back. Oh, it's coming. Receiving video. What's that? What's that mean? My media log. Oh, it's blooming done it now. Perhaps it's because I haven't got it a title. Uh, oh, that's a nice uh, screenshot, isn't it? There. Right, so that's enough for that for today. Oh, I'm going to have to chop a load of that out. What an idiot. Uh, next, um, what I normally do is. Uh, I'll open up the Chrome. So I left it on, uh, that's my channel. Um, when I upload the video, uh, if I do that, I'll upload. Um, yeah. Right, uploading video, uh, and it is the one I did yesterday. So I select a file, uh, downloads, log 05, log 09, 09, 09, 05, Okay, so I'll leave yesterday's uploading there, recording, and um, 
it's saved it onto my desktop so I'll pull that one in as well so that's it so that's snippets one and two and then I want to start with my intro it should be is it here I'll just check it's the right one first no it's not the right one because I changed the music so it's not that one excuse me I'm eating a banana um where did I save that then so go back to my vlog go to my media bring something in uh downwards downloads of them um it's not on the desktop downloads uh so it's intro to a that one and that one I want that one and that one and import those so let's see if it's the right one in now uh where did I leave off that one not play <laughs> So I'll have that one in first and it's that good morning. It's the next one and may as well put that in. Um I think that's the right one. Pause that. Um that's a bit loud. Off a damn bit. Right there. Right there. So that's that, and that's automatically saved that. So um, I can leave that for a bit and then just pop this snippet in. <laughs> right, stop recording. Before I go upstairs, I just wondered, I don't know whether you're interested or not, but I'll just show you how I'm recording the screen. Um, and also how I get the thumbnails, uh, the stills for the thumbnails. Um, all I do on this Mac, I've tried all sorts of ways and found out this is dead easy. Um, I'll go to the keyboard and you want um, Shift, Command, I've got to try and do this with, all, with one hand. Shift, Command, 5. Hang on. Shift Command 5 uh, and then it comes up like this at the bottom of the screen so I'll just, just on full screen here and um, you can either record a video which is these here so that will record the entire screen a selected portion um, options you can choose where you're going to save it to uh, whether you want a, a timer before you start what camera even whether you show mouse clicks or not and like I've set that for five seconds for a recording or over here you can do capture entire screen or selected window or selected portion um, so like if I did that selected portion there I'd be able to just go to that and show us a here and mix channel name so I could take a photo of that um, and then you just click capture and it'll do it in fact I'll do you one so I'll have the here and Becker's channel right so that's that that's the selected portion I want and then I, I don't really need the timer on it but I'll leave it because I'm going to use that next and it'll just take the shot There you go, and there it is, down at the bottom. Or, 
uh thing is once i've done that i've got to go back in it again um so i'll just come off the phone and i'll go on to doing a, a screen share and show you the cells that are going out oh this is going to get complicated down from the loft so i've now moved over onto just doing the actual screen recording so i'm recording just this section that you can see there's a small part in the middle of my screen and I'm probably getting too technical for some people but um, you know as in like you're probably not interested but just skip past if you're not uh, but it's part of my day this is what I do uh, now so uh, this one went on bids there were eight bids on it, it started I think at about a £10 um, and this is something I picked up for a couple of pounds from the uh or did I actually pay about four pounds for it? From the yard trail anyway, but I I thought there might be some money in it. <coughs> but I didn't realise there'd be this much. So that one's gone for £26.10. Um so that's fairly easy packaging today. This one is Edwardian Paragon. These will have come in a job lot which possibly cost me no more than a fiver for the whole lot um and i've took an offer on this i've not sold it for 35 it's, it's been on a while um it's going to be quite heavy and take some packaging but that's fine uh, so i took 25 pound on that but they've paid me uh, enough postage because it will weigh very very heavy um when i've made it the size of a small fridge um and the next one is this royal alba collection um it's actually gone to somebody that has got a lot of china for sale on their site so whether i've put it on uh i don't know he might want it for himself or he might be selling it on but that's up to him um it just came in one of my job lots and uh it says sold for 679 but i took an offer of a fiver uh, and it'll probably go for under one kilo postage on that one so yeah so that's the only three going out but at least it's not been too bad in in money at the minute uh, as long as i'm between 50 and uh, 50 and 100 i'm i'm all right with that um obviously we've got postage um to come off when you look at your overview but yeah so that's the only three so far for today uh, it's now 10:17 um, I'm going to go in the loft and bring these down and I've also got the other um, giveaway prize that's got to go in the post today and I've got I've got the address now um, so that's coming off today so let's click end right it is uh, what time is it half ten and I'm out and about because <laughs> let me just get out of here and then I'll tell you uh, it is slightly embarrassing but I'm going to tell you anyway because <laughs> there's a moral to this story right I did a video and I showed the haul that I got from the auction it was the brick and rack haul so if you don't know what I'm talking about go back and have a look at that but in that was a vase and it was white and speckly um, and it looked very crude uh, to be honest so when I had a, I was going to list it and I thought well somebody might like it but then when I looked at it there was a little bit of a chip around the bottom so that sort of nailed it and I thought I'm not going to bother anyway message from Kath Palmer because a lot of you do comment on these videos and I think that's lovely I do appreciate it I, I love reading them even if I don't get back to them straight away I, I always read them anyway this one came in the night after I'd taken a load of stuff to the charity shop and in the charity shop lot was said bars um Cathed put on it that you've got some nice things there, blah blah, lots of other stuff she put. And um, in fact, if I pull up, I'll be able to show you the said bars. Right. Right. I'll show you. I'll show you the bars. 
Now this is it. And she said, uh, you'll do well with that vase, Sue. She says, I found one for you on eBay. Uh, and it's smaller, it looks smaller. Uh, and they've got it on for £70. And I was like, are you having a laugh, you idiot? Why didn't you look it up? See, that's the moral to the story. Even if you think something's going to be a bag of rubbish uh, when you're dealing with bric a brac. And I normally follow that myself. My brother will say, What are you selling? Good God, are you selling that? And I go, Yeah, you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed what people will buy. Didn't listen to myself and took it to the charge shop. So, thank you, Kath, for letting me know. But the embarrassing bit is, I had two choices. I could either leave it or I could go down to the charity shop and say, have you sold that vase yet? So I've had to go in and say to him, oh, I brought some stuff down yesterday and one of them shouldn't have been in the box. Um, she says, well, everything's gone out. So I says, oh, right. She says, have a look on the shelf anyway. Another woman come up and said, uh, I'll help you to look what's it look like. And when I told her it's white with bobbles on, Woman behind says, oh, it ain't gone out yet, that. It's here, and they put it on a shelf in, in back. So, uh, I said, oh, brilliant. So she's wrapped it in newspaper so it doesn't get broken when I bring it back. And I've given her £3 for a trouble. I says, here, I'll do that, because she'd have got that if, you, if you'd put it on the shelf. And she was like, no, 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 don't worry about it, because she knows I regularly take stuff in anyway. But I said, uh, no, no, let me get you. Anyway, wait, let me show you the, the one that's on eBay has also got uh, sort of wear uh, around this top edge. Uh, and this one has their look, a little bit there, but they can have that on the back. But I can't tell you what the name is at the minute. It's Fraggle, Fraggle, it's not Fraggle Rock, but it's, it's a, you know, typical Italian name. And uh, whether I get, you know, with that damage, I'm probably only pre on for about 40 of it. Thanks ever so much, Kath. <laughs> I must read my comments before I actually take this lot to the charity shop, so. <sighs> oh, where am I going now? Uh, post office. I've got a parcel. My husband has got this new car and uh, he keeps wanting to pep it up with different things. And... Uh, some sort of window visor type thing uh, is ordered and it doesn't uh, fit. So because I bought it on my account, I've got the, uh, mind you, even if it were on his account, I've got the joy of sending it back. So uh, I've opened a case and I've got to take that to the post office and I hate going to the post office. Uh, so hopefully I'll get there before it rains. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry you have to more or less look up my nose on this, but uh, there's n nowhere else to put the camera uh, in my car. And uh, you can tell we've still got all these speed bumps, can't you? Right, I'll see you when I get back. Oh, oh. I've just been in post office for ages. It was a long, flat parcel. And uh, first of all, it wouldn't fit on the little scales that was in front of me but they've got some bigger scales further on but there was a bloke um where are you going are you going oh. there was a fellow further on uh and he were taking ages that's the that's the reason i don't like the post office is that everybody's entitled to do what they want to do but everything seems to take ages um, nobody's fault, it just is. Anyway, I had to wait to put it on these other scales. And then she says, I don't think, I don't think it'll go that anyway. And the label that had come through from eBay were for uh, uh, track 48. And I says, why won't it go through? She says, I think it's too, too, too long. She says, you might have to drop it off. I says, well, I, or get it picked up. I said, well, I can't, can I? Because they've sent me a label and it's for dropping off, so don't know what to do so then she gets tape measure out she's waiting for other woman and uh, she's she says look she says it's 111 centimeters 
So the woman says, right. So she comes out to join forces with her. And then I heard one of them say to other, well, it's 1.5 centimetres thing. So she says, oh, so she come and had a look. And I says, well, that's not 1.5 centimetres. It's 111, she says, what's that other one? So I says, well, 111 is 1.11 centimetres. Uh, 1.11 metres, not 1.5 metres, so bless them, they said, oh, it's this new tape measure, it confuses life out of me. So, I says, oh, I don't know why they didn't stick with inches and uh, instead of all this uh, metric gubbins. So, uh, tried to make a bit of light out of it anyway, so that's, uh, well, it's now 10 to 11. So I'm approaching home for phase two, which is do the packaging and try and get it done before uh, one o'clock. Look how long this takes. I'm back. Uh, I have um, done a Hermes parcel label for that gift that's got to go out. Uh, and it is 11.18 and this is still 82% uh, uploaded. Right, it is uh, quarter to one. I said I was going to try and get my parcels done for half twelve. Uh, failed that one, it's quarter to one. But um, I'm going to drop them off, hopefully they won't have been yet. And if you can't hear me, it's because somebody's trying to mend a van. Uh, and we're be honest with the amount of pother he's making i'm not quite sure he's going to manage it but you know uh, oh well, right they're doing this resurfacing so i'm gonna have to turn you off because it's going to shake it completely out of the uh, holder parcel shop um not sure i like packing dinner services anymore well tea service the 24 piece tea service it's taken ages um hopefully it'll get there okay i've packed the heck out of it i don't mind doing an odd bit of china you know smaller pieces or single items with 24 in one box like but anyway i think i've earned some lunch i'm going to try and get um, a pie and peas, I think. Uh, half past one. I got sat down at about quarter past. Uh, I've been pie and peas. I'm absolutely stuffed. I couldn't quite manage it. Um, yeah, half past one. Just catching up with Steve while I have a cup of tea. But I'm going to kill two birds with one stone because by the time I get back upstairs, the uh, YouTube video for yesterday will have uploaded, so I'll be able to make that live. And uh, that means it will free me up with the computer so I can get some listings done. So while I'm sat watching Stay, sorry, I'm not giving you my undivided. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to put all the photos into drafts on my phone. So I'm going to be absolutely honest. I watched Stay. And then I've ended up watching Carla's Waffle. And it's now 10 past two. And look at me, I'm a bit sleepy. So <laughs> I'm going for a little snooze. <laughs> See you in a bit. Then at 10 past four, it was the single hardest thing I've done all day. <sighs> oh, I wasn't comfortable. Well, it was painful. I think I got about five and a half hours sleep last night, so I was dying to go to sleep, and it was probably away there. 
can't hold you up, hang on. Oh. I'll probably wait then for uh, about an hour and a half and then snooze uh, button was going off on my phone. So I've been snoozing for uh, 40 minutes. <clears throat> yeah, right. I've got flu jab at five, so I've got to get my finger out now. So this is where the day goes. It is 7.51. I have uh, been for my flu jab at five past five. Then I've come home and I've put tea on and then Phil's come in at six. So we've eaten his tea and we watched a quiz till about half past six. Then we've caught up with an hour of Lovecraft County. And then... Um, I've done the pots for the dishwasher and tied it up in the kitchen. And yes, Carly, you do do. <laughs> she were asking whether people include this. And yes, they do. You do the dishwasher and you make sure there's no gunk in the sink. And you do the worktops and the oven top and floor and everything else. So yes, Nat, you do do it all. Um, bless her. So uh, what am I doing now? Uh, 7.52. I come upstairs, uh, I've got the snippets that I've been doing today that I've put into this one. So I've just done that. Uh, Minimise that. Uh, this vlog uploaded at some point this afternoon, uh, but it's just been stuck in that position because I've not had a chance to do anything else with it. So uh, I can now go in and um, make this live. So there's not much to click about on it to be honest, but we'll have, have to roll next. Uh, certification, is there any kids? Sensitive issues? No, none of the above. I can do that. Um, add an end screen, so we'll have the one that I had last time. Um, so what I'll do, so I'll save that one. Um, I'll leave it unlisted until I um, go back into YouTube and change that. So apparently it's finished processing, so we should be okay with that. There we go. So I can see it's there and it's ready, but I've got no thumbnail. So I've got to think about making a thumbnail as well now. Um, what should I do first? Right, I'll open it up. Um, so, um, daily uh, snippets, what I get, what I do in a day, where's that gone? So that will do. Um, right, take this out. I'll put my eBay store in. Uh, where is it? It's there. I've been watching another tutorial while I've had my tea on uh, using QuickTime Player in this, which I've not, I've not used before. Um, what was I doing? I thought I could do two jobs at once, I obviously I can't. Uh, oh, notebook. I'm going to copy um, those two. Which is uh, my eBay and Facebook. Are you going in? Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. No. Oh, God. Copy. Paste. There we are. So, eBay. Store. I think 
Trans Oak email me um So that's that edited, right, I could do with uploading a thumbnail, so I don't want to just do that. So, right. we'll find out where it is in my computer, but you get the gist. Um, I've got to make a thumbnail and I've got to put that into there. Then, uh, I'll show you what I did while I was, uh, I said I was going to do it while I watched Carla and, and Steve. So I got my drafts done. Um, oh, I've had a notification. Oh, somebody's bought a dinosaur. Um, so listings, drafts. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six with photographs in. Um, so I'm going to make those live tonight. I'm going to 
get that one uploaded so you'll be able to see that later tonight uh which is tuesday the 6th uh this one will be coming out tomorrow uh if there's anything you particularly want to see uh in these daily snippet vlogs uh then if i'm if i'm up to that that week then i'll i'll do it for you so drop a comment in there um quite enjoying doing it actually but i think tomorrow what i'm gonna have to do is have a um a very definite listing day tomorrow rather than tubing so i might not i might not film as many snippets tomorrow but you're getting the gist of where the day disappears to aren't you um right so i'll sign off with that uh get this one uploaded all the other ones live for you to watch and i will see you soon take care love you loads bye